So as I'm sitting here booting up and waiting to connect to the SkyX, it's kind of funny, but the, uh, the sound that it makes is very quiet, but it does remind me a little bit of percolating coffee. It, like it has a it's like the the pumping of water through a percolating coffee machine so that makes me happy just thinking of coffee all right so i have my focus controller uh, as the pegasus astro and i'm just gonna check and see uh on my moonlight focuser if you can see it move i'm gonna if you keep your eye on the uh, little hex that attaches the knob, uh, you can see it turn on the knob there. You can also see the uh, the focus tube is is moving out. Now I'll go back the other way, and as we go around, we can see that little uh, set screw that keeps the knob on. We can see that turning. And I'm moving it with the uh, with the focuser, so that's a function check. The uh, Pegasus Astro part of the focuser works. Okay, so I've successfully connected the camera and the focuser and the mount to the SkyX software, and um, it's telling me right now this is where about where I'm I'm pointing. Uh, over here, at, it marks the home position. Um, it does say I am side reel tracking is on. Um, so right here tracking at side reel right. And so I just want to do a couple of test slews. I'm going to try and move it, let's see over here. I'm going to just do a basic, um, let's just do a basic slew. Obviously can't do a closed loop slew. So here we go. Are you sure you want to slew to this position? Yes. Nice. Okay. So I'm pointed closer to the zenith. I'm going to go, I'm going to try and make it nearly horizontal. I'm going to tell it uh, to slew there. Uh, yes, I'm sure. It's moving very nicely. All right. Perfect. Now, what if I want to do, let's go closer to the North Pole. I'm gonna slew there. Excellent. It's not making any funny noises. Everything's nice and happy. All right, so let's tell it to cross the meridian. I'm gonna tell it to go over here. And it's just gonna be a simple crossing the meridian. All right, nice. Um, let's tell it to go to where the moon is right now. All right, confirm. Sure. All right, everything seems to be happy. All right, um, I'm gonna tell it to point more at me. So let's do that. Maybe I can look right in the optics. Oh, I guess my horizon limit I've set to pretty low, so um, I'll tell it to go right in this corner, right at the limits. Um, my horizon limits, by the way, I have set earlier um, because th that's the location of, oh, there we go. Um, right here is the location of the elevator uh, out uh, to our roof, and then this is the emergency staircase, and that those little uh, rooms up on the roof uh, limit my horizon there to about 30, and then uh, the rest of the horizon I've limited to, I think, 20. Um, so that's my current approximate horizon. I thought about putting a panoramic photo in there, but I think I'm just going to go with the limits that are drawn on there just to make life simple. Um, I know I can click and drag this line to limit my, um, my zones, 
but I'm gonna just leave that where it is for now. Um, let's see if I can tell it, uh, can I tell it to go to home position? Let's see. What about startup? Find home? Yeah, find home. Okay, I'm gonna tell it to find home and see what happens. All right, it's behaving. Should swing around here. Makes me a little dizzy just watching it. It's moving very smoothly. No weird noises. And it's moving to the software bisque home position. I kind of get why they do that. All right, now I'm gonna actually turn tracking off. Um, let's turn tracking off. And uh, I'm gonna go in here after I'm uh, off camera, I'm gonna go in and set my, uh, my home position. So it, it should, Okay, it reported home position there, and I know in the manual one of the steps it says to do is to set your permanent home position, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, everything looks like it's good and copacetic, and I am pleased as can be. All right, so I'm going to deem my first trial run a success. Um, I'm pointing it back at the celestial pole just to make it easier to take the uh, telescope OTA off the, uh, off the mount. Got it all nice and perpendicular and straight up and down. So I'll, I'm gonna tear it down, um, which should consist of just unplugging a couple of uh, cords and um, getting the OTA out of the rings and putting it back in the storeroom. And then I'm gonna put the, the uh, mount back in the storeroom and whenever the pier is ready, I'll be able to hook it up and it should just be a matter of three or four cables. I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited about how simple it all is. Um, I slewed it around a little bit. I took some photos and made sure that the camera works. I took a couple of flats and took a couple darks and uh, it, it works fine. Um, I'm really happy with how well it uh, it's all maneuvering. It seems to be very smooth. So initial run, initial uh, checkout, it looks like it's going to work. And now it'll be a matter of putting it in the dome, coordinating it with the dome and making sure that I'm actually getting good pointing and getting good tracking. So let's make some progress.